Hi, my name is Saskia. I just want to give you a quick overview of how to use Mojo Max for getting logo ideas or even just for designing your logo. Um, so let's go to the Logo Maker app by uh, clicking Create a Logo at the top. Um, and let's just type in your company name, Mojo Max or whatever. Um, I'm going to go for no symbol because I think uh, wordmark logos are more modern um, or can be more modern. Um, first of all, you can uh, click through the current fonts, anything from a little bit wider to serifs um, or around it um, are available. I'm just going to go for uh, Geo because I know Geo has a lot of alt symbols. Um, the first thing you want to determine is whether you want to have the um, all caps, a lowercase, or just a title case um, logo style. I prefer caps or lowercase simply because it has a little bit more logo character. Um, you can play around with the font weight sliders here and or figure out the letter spacing with the slider below. Um, for logos, it's generally good to either go a little bit tighter, um, so adjust the letter spacing to the left, or a little bit wider um, than what you would normally see, simply because it also adds to um, kind of giving a little bit more of a, I feel it's a little bit more compact or some sort of unity that you want to achieve with a logo. Um, so let's say we are going for something like this. Um, you can then um, click on a letter and scroll through some options here. Um, you know, it's probably, first of all, we have two M's in here. So let's say that we kind of um, want to always, you know, make them the same simply to kind of maintain more of a minimalist overall look. Um, as if this was the actual font um, to, that you're using to design this logo. Um, and then I know that we're using this X here. Uh, you can play around, obviously, a little bit with um, more like, cool options and really, really make your logo unique. Um, the next thing you want to kind of figure out is, you know, it's always nice to see in big, like right here, but um, a logo needs to work in small very often. So let's scroll down a little bit and see, um, you know, if it's readable or if it's a little bit too thick um, or could use a little bit more, um, you know, tracking or letter spacing. So I kind of, you know, think maybe we'll go a little bit um, less bold just like this. And it's, it, you know, to me, this is kind of cool. We want to, um, you know, you can simply also scroll through some color options here. You know, um, colors are usually, or color, finding a brand color palette um, should absolutely be based on, you know, your positioning. But the most obvious point is probably um, checking out your competition's colors and making sure yours is standing out from the options. Um, you know, I'm just going to pick ours if I can find it. I guess I can't right now. But you know, let's um, let's kind of use this one. I kind of like this one. Um, Anyway, your brand kit gets created right below the, edit the editor, so you can quickly see um, what it roughly looks like on a variety of materials. So anyway, so this is um, the logo. You can save the logo here with this button, um, which takes a little bit because all the logo files internally are going to get updated um, once it's saved. Um, you can also hit the download PNG button um, and, you know, download your logo file in a custom format. All right. So that's it.
for this video. Um, more details are coming soon. All right, bye.